Hey guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Elizabeth Bonar meets The Enchanted April. This is a book I read back in April but haven't had the time to review until now. Um, as it was a very surprising read, one that I really fell in love with, I wanted to talk about it despite having read it almost two months ago. If you don't know what this book is about, it is about four women who go on a trip to Italy during the month of April to run out from their problems in Britain. Problems which are mostly related with their relationship with their husbands or with other men in their lives. The best thing about this book is not only the Italian setting, and the descriptions of the castle they are staying in which are magnificent and really make you want to go spend an entire month on a holiday in Italy but also the characters and how they are crafted. Each of the four women is very unique, each of them has their own personality and through the entirety of the novel we really get to see the story through their eyes from their perspectives and we really get to see how, despite being different, they all end up liking each other in a strange way, even though at the very beginning some of them really dislike some of the, uh, some others and their attitude towards each other isn't as friendly as one would like to receive when going on a holiday with other people. Friendship is then one of the keys of the novel. It's a book that really talks about how to care about friends, how a friendship builds up and also about how friendship can be formed despite the differences that can be found between the people that are part of that friendship group. The four women, as I said, are very different from each other. Some are more shy, more weird, others more reserved and others more picky. Ah uh, yeah, I'm talking about the old woman whose name I've now forgotten but she was such an awful person but you still could then help but fell for her. And speaking of that, that was the next thing I was going to talk about. Despite the characters in this book not being perfect because very mid they aren't, each of them has her flaws, her issues and something that you will probably not like to see on a real life friend but despite that they feel real and you can't help but love them because of their uniqueness and because of their weird attitudes at some moments. Another key point of the book is the narrative voice. Elizabeth Bourne Armins is a master of, of writing. Her narrative voice is very funny and witty and smart. The book is filled with really sarcastic comments on some situations that take place and sometimes she mixes a really raw and serious argument in a more ridiculous situation and you can help but laugh and, but at the same time relate to it. I don't know if it makes sense, I could look for an example. An example of what I just said would be this quote. People were exactly like flies, he wished there were nets for keeping them off too. She hit at them with words and frowns and like the fly they slipped between her blouse and were untouched. Worse than the fly, they seemed unaware that he had even tried to hit them. The fly at least did for a moment go away. With human beings, the only way to get rid of them was to go away herself. As you can see, an argument like that is at the same time sad because solitude is never something to be proud of, but somehow really funny and weird and I really loved it. The book is filled with quotes like that that you can help but underline and be like, that is me. But at least that was my personal experience reading this book and the quotes that fill it up. Now moving on a bit on to the plot. As I just said, the women go to this castle to get away from their day-to-day -day life and from their routines that have them bored because they are female in the 20s. So their life is not the funniest and most enter the entertaining thing, as you can probably guess. However, their stay at this castle is not as nice and quiet and peaceful as they would expect, as suddenly people from their lives, and with that I mean their husbands, start coming to the scene. Along with their husbands, some other men come, and as you can probably guess by the fact that 
people who are not supposed to be there start coming in, things do not develop as smoothly as they should. As the book moves onwards and more and more people enter the scene, the plot of the book starts getting heavier and you can sense by how the words are written that you are getting near a climax point that is going to change the course of the novel. And with that, I think I'm going to finish with the description of the plot because I don't want to give away any spoilers, but the book is fantastic. I really recommend it. If you like books about women, about women bonding, you will for sure like this. If you like books that do not have, do not have a set plot, but that focus more on the characters and the relationships that build up between them, you are going to love this. And last, if you like talks about female, about female role in society and about female friendship, you will also for sure really, really enjoy The Enchanted April. I think that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you read this book or anything else by Elizabeth von Armin. I think her most famous novel is Vera, which is a book I am now very looking, my, uh, which is a book that I am now very excited to get to because I absolutely adore this. I absolutely adore her writing style, and I cannot wait to read more from this. Author, despite having heard a few things about, had never read anything about before. I am sorry if this review was short. I finished this book uh, over a month ago, and I do not remember many details that I can talk about now giving away any spoilers so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and to my channel if you want to see more from me and i hope you're listening amazing and i will see you in my next video bye